Hello everyone, this is an extra broadcast, um, breaking news, uh, a lot of people today have logged into their accounts to find this tank in their garage, it's the American M60, it's a tier 10 premium and no one knows why some people have got it and some people have not. Um, it also comes with its own unique camouflage, as you can see here. It's, uh, it looks horrible, but uh, well, I guess on an American tank it, it sort of fits. <laughs> um, also, M60, I'm happy to see this tank in game. It was a real tank, so not some fantasy thing. Even with this big ugly thing here, not really sure what it is. It's if it's lighting or if it's some target uh, targeting system. Um, well, time to find out later. The reason I'm making this video is just to give a short review on it and uh, see how it's like. So start by I'm not running this camel. Let's just say that at once. Start by looking at its stats. Um, As you can see here, 1900 hit points, hull armor, well, 93, 73, 25, nothing much to write home about. Um, turret armor, 177 at the front, and the gun mount doesn't seem to be that thick, so, well, it's, uh, n it's paper armor, pretty much. Like the M48 has... Uh, better turret armor definitely weight 46 tons 825 horsepower engine which makes it and 48 kilometers per hour speed limit and look at these traverse numbers 60 and 50 and this is with of course a lot of provisions and stuff but uh, but still it moves about really nice and it turns like like an m4 easy 8 almost um, the gun, 9.44 rounds per minute, 268 AP or APCR, standard round penetration, and 330 heat. Um, decent dispersion, uh, decent aim time, and what does it, what this doesn't tell is the dispersion on the move, which I've just tried this for two battles so far, but uh, it looks to be excellent. Uh, if you point the gun and you click and it hits it uh, looks to be really excellent um, well, what to say, view range is uh, like standard for a tier 10 medium yeah I've chosen to get uh, rammer, vertical stabilizer and optics from mine increasing my view range by 70 meters. Um, as you can see the rammer has increased my rate of fire by almost one round and my vertical stabilizer is, well, at least in theory, reducing my aim time to 2.9 which is quite an excellent aim time. Um, at least by the new full aim time given it's, it's really good. And um, of course this is just half the story. The vertical stabilizers help more than uh, because it also helps reduce the reticle size while you're moving. Um, ammunition, yeah, nothing special. I've chosen to carry 8 rounds. Provisions, I've loaded up with case of cola, improved fuel and protective kit. I'm not sure why I run protective kit. Well, you can see it. Consumables, my standard aggressive setup with the uh, multi-repair and adrenaline and engine boost. So, let's look how it works out. So here is my first ever battle in it on Rockfield. Uh, we are facing another M60 and we have another M60 on my team. I guess a lot of people just logged in and want to try out their new tank. Uh, which also causes some, uh, <laughs> some talking chat. already noticed the traverse speed. 
I'm playing on uh, on PC here, and just a tap of the direction arrows is flinging my tank 45 degrees. Um, you can also see I have a little bit of ping issues in the start, at least of this bat battle. I'm really what I really want to see here is this other M60 because it will tell me what what my own armor profile is like. So I'm I'm hoping he will show up eventually. Taking my time to type a bit in chat. And it's a good thing to thing to know about this tank. You can't type in between engagements. And there you see, see the turret is completely grey, and that means my turret looks the same. <laughs> But gun depression is good. Uh, lacks a bit of gun depression over the back, where you can see the engine deck is raised. But, uh, standard ammunition, We're penning the IS-7, okay in the lower glazes, but uh, of course we get penned right back. Side armor of this tank is uh, 76 millimeters, which should be enough to side scrape a little bit, but uh, it won't really help much unless you can trick someone into shooting your tracks and wasting their shot. Because if you pull out far enough to uh, good snapshots there, pull it, pull back far enough to expose your turret so you can shoot back, then they can always pen your turret. There you see the M60 again, very little armor. I'm taking a bit more extra risk here, just hoping to get some more looks at armor profile, but the bush obscured me. And there, I got a bounce on his gun mantle, showing that there is actually something that can stop bullets in the front there. Which is good to know. Probably just the edges of the gun mantle. See this tank it hits everything. Where you point if you point where you want to hit, it will hit there. No matter if you're wiggling or turning or moving. So this is isn't looking too good for the first battle. I'm looking to get an absolutely horrible win rate. <laughs> Zero percent. Wait for the results card to see how it did and not at not least how much money it made and as you can see it does not have premium credit making which is a shame i was hoping to be able to grind a few credits at tier 10 but well 2700 damage on a loss and no pramo fired is uh, to uh, 25000 credits loss so So let's have another try at this, this time at Mirage map in a tier 9 10 battle. Uh, mediums seem to be quite evenly distributed between the teams. So it's anyone's guess where the battle will happen here. Taking out, well, if I can manage to get past this other medium, I'll pull into the center and have a look through the bush, try to see where the reds may be going. You can see this tank moves about quite quite fast. Power to weight ratio is decent and terrain resistance seems to be decent. It's uh, It's not a tank you want to play on its armor because it doesn't have any, so you have to play it more like uh, more like a leopard, I guess. Leopard, uh, of course, have a better gun, but I think for firing on the move, this tank should not be any worse than it, at least. If not better. And we're going to see a few few more snapshots in this battle. Having another look over the ridge. Keeping the reds lit up. Not contributing too much with my own gun so far, but... 
the city is pulling back, so I'm pushing across here. And look there, snapshot, on the move, going full speed ahead. <clears throat> Takes the FV in the side of his turret. Then we stop here and find ourselves in a position where we just have to trade shots with this Soviet medium. I'm trying to get Otto in to go on and off a bit here without much success. So. In this battle I also get a chance to really test test the limit, find the limit of the snapshot ability. And uh, you will see by the end there is uh, a shot that well, is here. Boom. Uh, the shot by the end that misses. That uh, well, I don't think any tank would have would have hit with it. But. T54 manages to get himself set on fire. And I'm not used to the accuracy on the move this tank yet, so I'm taking time to aim, even if it isn't necessary, but this shot, while moving, yeah, it didn't hit. <laughs> it would have been a wonder if it did. So, that's a win. And, um, I'm going to have a look at the scorecard here, yeah. Still a loss in credits, but, well, with a win and 2000 damage, and, well, I had 900 spotting damage here, it would have been barely on the plus side I think so normal tier 10 crit making and uh, if you got this tank uh, consider yourselves lucky not everyone did uh, as I said we don't know who got it or why there's no reason and I, I'm a bit upset with that way of arranging things but uh, I'm also very happy that I'm among the ones that got it so well maybe it will be available later for everyone else who knows that's my small preview of the M60. See you all.